Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another MAM Jealous Play of Course Party Book of Shadows. When we left off, we were in a flashback scene. And by scene, I mean the entire episode was a flashback sequence. And we're still in that flashback. But I have a feeling that that flashback is going to come to an end this time. And that we will be returning back to Heavenly Host Elementary very, very soon. I just don't understand what the importance of this is. I know that she was, Yui Sensei was talking about Tsukasa in her sleep, but how important of a character is he to the lore? I'm very curious about that, so we're gonna push onwards and see what we can learn. For a moment, I had no idea what he was talking about, but then it hit me. Tsukasa had somehow sussed out from our conversation that I was crying because I'd upset Tomoe. And he was turning that fact around to offer me encouragement. あ。フラダー。頑張れって言葉は辛い時には Oh, really? I can so clearly recall the events of that day, even now. It was October, the day before my entrance exam. The weather outside had been miserable since morning, and visibility was all but non-existent. It would be a bad omen if I were to slip and fall on the day before the exam, so I decided that I'd wear boost to school just to be safe. Oh! <laughs> okay! When I opened the door, I was shocked to see a white-haired old woman lying on the ground, soaked to the bone. I frantically rushed over to her side. This is interesting. This this lady who collapsed was the uh, chapter intro uh, title shot there. The road running by my house was narrow and mostly used only by our neighbors. But it's not like it was closed off to outside traffic or anything, so a hit and run wasn't out of the question. I looked over the old woman's body as best I could. Fortunately, there were no signs of any serious injury. <laughs> This is kind of scary. What? Who is she? The old woman raised herself up slightly and spoke hoarsely. From the tone in her voice, she seemed terribly desperate. <laughs> I'm really curious about this right here. So there's there's gotta be a reason why this random old woman is very, very passionate about you not going to school. She has some relation, some connection. We can't see her face. Uh, mm. Who 
papa. Don't be a teacher? Not knowing what to say, I nodded apprehensively as the old woman began digging through her pockets. She produced what looked like a, a crumpled scrap of paper. As she was digging about, I noticed that her breathing had become dangerously ragged and began considering my options to assist her. Really, I should have gone back to the house and called my mom. But there was something about her that kept me glued to the spot. I sensed desperation hiding in that unbroken gaze. <laughs> Nobody we know is older than you, Sensei. The old woman clutched my wrist and forcefully pressed the scrap of paper into my palm. Tilting my head, I unfolded the scrap and looked carefully at it. At first, I thought I'd just been handed a piece of trash. But when I unfolded it all the way, I saw that it was the actually a paper doll in the shape of a human being. And there was a name written on his torso. Yui Shishido. That's creepy. That's when you go, okay, lady, I'm not going to go to school today. Yes, my name. Written as plain as day in easily legible brush strokes. Makes sense. <laughs> crazy. This is all crazy. I didn't understand any of it. Save for one simple fact. This old woman was here specifically to give me this strange paper charm. Yes! Think about that! As far as I was aware, we were total strangers to one another. But she clearly knew both my name and my address. Oh god. My brain! As I extended my arm to return the paper doll, I could sense her entire demeanor had changed. She raised her body up unsteadily from the wet asphalt. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> She's very forceful. As the old woman cried out, the paper doll fluttered lightly to the ground. Almost instantaneously, it became soaked with rainwater. My name began to run and quickly turned into an illegible black smudge. Seeing this, the old woman grabbed and tore at her hair. Oh, this is so intriguing. She's gonna vomit on you. <laughs> Old woman used vomit attack. It was super effective. <laughs> 
She's not gonna be there. どうしたの? Paramedics arrived in a matter of minutes. The old woman seemed unconscious by that point. However, so the EMTs uh, brought out a stretcher. Yes. Yes. Yui. The idea of making this old woman go to the hospital by herself just seemed like it would have been a shameful thing to do. Come on, you're supposed to be the one with the heart of gold. Sure, she was a stranger, but we'd had a lengthy conversation mere minutes before, so I couldn't very well say we had nothing to do with one another. Yui, God dang it. Okay, now this is just a theory. You guys know I'm throwing out theories kind of as I'm playing this game. But, she got sick as soon as the name got wiped off of the charm. So, it doesn't make sense to me yet. But I have a feeling that's Yui from the future telling the past Yui not to go to the school. So that she would never be cursed. Now, we know that these characters are living in all these parallel universes and whatnot. I just don't know how that would fit into the timeline. But that's my theory right now. I'm not saying it's right or anything, but that's just the, the connections I'm making with the leads that I have. This lady risked her, her life for you. I was a little hesitant, but I knew I really had to go to school today, no matter what. So I left the strange woman in my mom's care and, heading towards school, walked right by her stretcher. <laughs> She's not letting you go that easy. Suddenly, a hand rose from the limp form of the old woman and grabbed my skirt. Startled, I tried to jump away a bit, but found myself ensnared by her terrible bloodshot eyes. She's like, oh, just just thinking about the, the, the emotions this character's going through, this old woman who's trying everything she can to keep Yui from going to school, and it's not working. <coughs> Did you faint? No. After school, once my final practice interview had concluded, I reunited with my friends and engaged in the usual regimen of gossip and small talk. When I described the, the events of that morning, everyone's eyebrows rose. They were hanging on every word and yelping in unison at key moments. Yeah, I would say so. I don't know, if somebody, if somebody was like in my parking lot, like as I was heading to school or something like that, and that was happening, I probably wouldn't go. Yeah, Oh no! What if the mention of the school triggers an event because now they're curious about that school? I wonder. I'm so curious about this now. This is so interesting. So so. Yeah, Japanese ghost stories, especially in schools, are like legit creepy. I'm not even joking. I've been to Japan before, and it's just like the, the stories you hear. Oh, God. You, you don't want to deal with it. You don't want to know. Kisaragi Gakuen got tatterare remani, Konobasho niatta. Tenjin Shogakode no Hanashinanda 
Oh, we heard about this story. Wait a second. This this exact thing happened in the first one with everybody else. They told the story on a rainy day and then they do the ceremony. But why is this a flashback? こういう日は吉江さんが出るんだって。天神小学校が亡くなってしまったことに気づいていない吉江さんは木更木学園の廊下を見回って歩いているんだよ。いや、いやだ。それ本当？え、まあ実際見たことがある人がいるから七不思議
はあ七不思議ねうん<笑>七不思議を信じるなんて夢があっていいなあ,あ He doesn't believe in any of it. Huh? Scosacum was quite nine. Quite, you call me all that to our own m i l k そのばあちゃんは確かに気味悪いけどさちょっと変わった人だっただけだろそういうんじゃなくてえ解決方法を教えてほしかったわけじゃないよ Uh oh don't get into argument don't do it don't do it あのね私は話を聞いてほしかっただけなの This seems like it's going to be a setup for an argument. Hanash Nara, Kita Junko. Dakar, so Janakte. What can you? Naka, Okotenoga? Otokonoko, the Koyu Kangai Katosu. Not even going to go against that. Hitoni Yorono comes in a kettle. Demo. 女子とは違ってすぐにこうすればいいじゃんって解決法を提示しちゃうのだ結果女子は言いたいことが言えなくて消化不良になってしまう私は司君と恐怖を共有したかっただけ司君が一緒に怖がってくれればそれでよかったのにこの時の私は気にするなって言葉が司君の気遣いだとわからなかっためんどくさいのかなってむくれてしまったのだ。うん。朝に見たおばあさんの顔が、目がしわがれた声が何度も頭の中でフラッシュバックする。それが階段話で増幅されて、じわじわと私の気持ちを暗くした。あんなに怖い思いをしたんだからっていう甘えや。やつ当たりの気持ちもあったんだと思う。私と司君はこの時初めて気まずい雰囲気になった。それじゃ私こっちだから。ああ。シシド。He called out my name as I briskly walk away. I didn't really know why I was so angry or confused, but I did notice that his voice was tinged with concern. なんかあったら連絡しろよ。I considered turning back for a second, but changed my mind and pushed forward in a huff, leaving him behind. It never works out well that way. ただいま。You should, you should really make up with all your friends. Everybody out there, make up with all your friends. Don't have any grudges. ゆい。おかえり。What happened with the old lady? Greeting me at the door, my mother wore a somber expression. I could tell right away that something had happened. I stared at her with scrunched eyebrows for an awkwardly long time before she eventually reluctantly opened her mouth to speak. She died. Well, I, I could have figured that. <laughs> 残念なことだけどあなたは明日の推薦入試のことだけ考えていなさい、うん、それじゃあのおばあさんの話はこれで終わり<笑>さあご飯にするから着替えておいで did, did the old lady try to talk to the mom at all? わかったそれじゃあ私部屋にいるからええお母さんがキッチンへと引っ込んでいくのを見届けて私はもぞもぞと靴を脱いだ気持ちは一層重くなっている司君にあんな態度をとってしまっただけでも嫌な気分だったのにあのおばあちゃんが亡くなってしまっただなんて Returning to my room I couldn't muster the energy to do anything but collapse into my chair and sprawl out onto the desk いくら
<laughs> the last thing the old woman said to me echoed again and again in my mind. I began wishing I'd taken her more seriously. I should have accepted the paper doll and thanked her. I should have reassured her I wouldn't go to Heavenly Host Elementary. I mean, the place doesn't ex even exist anymore, for goodness sakes. I was exhausted. It was a hell of a day, and I no longer even had the energy to move. I needed to change out of my school clothes, but... Still sprawled out over the desk, my eyelids drooped and closed. I was out. I awoke with a start. The air in my room had gotten noticeably cooler, and I was shivering. Rubbing my eyes, I glanced at my clock. The needles indicated that it was 6.45. It was black outside my window, streaked with lines from the still pouring rain. Sunny, for my exam, the weight of what the next day held for me came rushing into my mind. I'd practiced the interview process with my teachers quite thoroughly, but I was still really nervous. There was still a little time before dinner. My mind swimming, I decided to take this opportunity to clean out all the notes and textbooks I wouldn't need tomorrow for my bag. She's gonna go back to the school. This has nope written all over it. Well, that's good then. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> She's gonna go back to the school. Eh? So. Mm. Could she not have gotten it tomorrow morning? Fridish <sighs> I thought she said that she wasn't going to go back to the school, that she was going to heed the old woman's warning, and what are we doing? We're sprinting back to that school. Lokuji <laughs> I don't think it's that important of the time. Like, I don't think 7 o'clock is that crucial. She's gonna try and scare her friends. I think. Because that's what she did with the students. So it makes sense. こうなるのが分かっていて嫌だな、もう階段 ever pay me enough money to go to a school at night. I'm sorry, but there's, it's just so creepy. Kiredo, Loka no denkiva, mother Sibete Tsiteta. Aredake Akarukereva, Sokoma de Koyo Moyo Shinaktemo, Kyoshitsuma de Kiridaro. Yoshi Patta ite, Patta Smashtao. I folded up my soaked umbrella and left it on the rack by the entrance, 
then changed into my indoor shoes. Then, entering the brightly lit hall, I took another look around. <sighs> my deep sigh echoed through the deathly silent corridor. Ordinarily, the din of other students would drown out so uh, noises like this, but every little sound was coming through crystal clear at this late hour. I quickly beelined toward classroom 3-4. Three, 3-4? Four. Three, four. Hmm. Okay. The worst time to remember that. その天神小学校で放課後校舎の見回りをしていた女の先生が誤って階段から落ちて診断だってその日は10月のちょうど今日みたいに雨が降る放課後で時刻はそう夜の7時を過ぎたあたりこういう日はヨシエさんが出るん
Thinking about it, I vaguely recalled someone mentioning an upcoming performance by the Wind Instrument Club. I guess an organ would qualify. As a wind instrument? Somebody must have just stayed late to practice. That's all. I took another deep breath and tried, again, to calm my overly jittery nerves. That is true. I heard that if you let your imagination run too wild, fear can even make you see things that aren't there. And my imagination was most definitely running wild. <laughs> Let's just run. I decided to dash toward my classroom so I could get out of this hall as quickly as possible. Finally reaching that familiar door, I swiftly opened it and flicked on the lights. Thanks to all my un unexpected pauses to freak out over Thunder and Lightning, it took me far longer than it should have to get here. It was already well past 7. It was the appointed time when the ghost of the teacher was supposed to appear, at least according to the school legend. I let a sigh of relief and relaxed my shoulders a bit. The lights were on both inside the classroom and out in the hallway. Sure, it was still dead silent, but the fear I'd been feeling had completely melted away. Let's hope so. I grabbed the pen case I'd come back for and shoved it into my pocket. With my long ordeal behind me, more or less, I looked around the classroom and let out another sigh. I'd only ever known this classroom when it was bustling with activity, and thus found its eerie silence and other stillness to be oddly fascinating. Yui, run away. Just run. Of course, this, this would deter me from being a teacher. Like, if I was planning on being a teacher and all these things are happening, I'd be like, nope, I'm done. I'm changing my career path. I got the idea in my head to try doing something I normally wouldn't be able to, like standing at the teacher's podium and writing on the blackboard. I can just tell this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. So, I'm sorry. I know that nothing's happened in the past couple episodes. I do sincerely apologize about that. I'm trying to keep these episodes kind of reasonable length so that they can be rendered and uploaded in time. So, forgive me for that. But clearly, since we're right here, something big's going to happen in the next episode. You can trust me on that one. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys on the next MAMJ. Let's go. I still don't know how much is going to tie into it because I don't think... This Yui was sick. And they have the festival. Okay, never mind. Oh, this song. Oh, the song. Already? He said it's called Everything's Alright. It isn't. Oh, don't try to walk away all cool, Johnny. <laughs>